Miller Bro back here with uh, Get Rich or Die, episode 16, I believe. Yep, episode 16. I've been doing some uh, raiding overnight, just uh, some basic stuff. I'll just save that. Uh, I'll just come back for that in a second. I've been just trying to get some gas for a bit of. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Trying to get some gas uh, for the mini bike. Save that glue for for future uh, for future use. Uh, it means to get another engine, which I'm gonna use for another uh, cement mixer. Cause you know, just letting my current cement cement mixer uh, craft a uh, uh, fertilizer at the moment. So I figured. Eh, give it something to do. Let it have some overnight stuff. Uh, last episode, I was saying I was discussing that uh, you know, taking a trip over to the traders, uh, which I'm definitely gonna do. So, all that being said, uh, I'm going to get ready to get over to uh, go do the traders. Uh, let's see how the crops are doing. They're doing all right. They're looking fine, so. But yeah, let me just get ready and then uh, I'll meet you guys once I'm on the road traveling over. I'm just getting out of town here. I axed up some extra mini bike wheels and I decide to uh, uh, grab a shotgun short stock and barrel uh, because I'm like, I don't really want to use the shotgun short stock. It's like. Uh, one of those is like uh back when I did like all my testing for uh uh like when I did a little bit of an in-depth series on this version of uh console uh just wanna ax these up too. Just see if I get any extra tires out of that. But it's just kinda what is the sawed off shotguns uh, got less range and it's like I I prefer the long barrel shotgun more. Because it's like surprisingly, and this is with the uh, buckshot around just the regular shotty shells, uh, I can actually hit a pretty good, uh, hit the, uh, hit enemies from a good range. It's like I remember like getting some good shots with, uh, like hitting like uh, the hornets or the bees, uh, from like ranges that like you know, kind of like, especially if you're used to like, uh, you're like me, who's uh, a Call of Duty player. It's like, uh, you know, like, like I played it for years. Uh, uh, shotgun, you know, shotgun ranges, uh, you know, being, you know, kind of having the shots uh, just fall off at uh, these mysterious, <laughs> these mysterious ranges. Nope. Sorry, <laughs> a zombie. Uh, but uh, you know, like after like ten feet, it's like. Uh, it's like, you know, realizing that much later on, you know, like, you know, someone who's being in the guns, it's like, you know, that's not the case in, you know, like, damn, that's good range for a shotgun, like, you know, especially in video game land, it's like, uh, it's just kind of what it is, it's fun, it's like, yeah, I managed to scrounge up enough fuel for the mini bike to, uh, hopefully get a good trader run. I'm getting, uh, I'm actually, uh, coming up to Trader Bob's here because I think it's Trader Restock Day for him. So I figured, let's come over and, uh, see, uh, importantly, uh, if he's got the gas that can schematic, because I'm really gunning for that. I made a king size bed to see the price, that's like, oh wow, 1300 dukes, it's like, that is incredible for it. Made some more duct tape to sell to him, so, how much is a... 102 bucks for a brass car radiator. Stranger, I've got the best deals in Navis game. Good to see you, Bob. But what do you got for me, though? Do you have my gas can schematic? You have the hunting rifle schematic and leather hood schematic and hop seed in there. I don't really care for it. Um, you got leather gloves. I don't really need that. I could just find that later. And then, uh... Got everything there, so uh, I am starting out with 16,601 dukes in this episode. So one of those, I'm like, 
I'll, uh, I'll have that put up earlier in the episode for you guys, because, like, I did forget that, but it's no biggie. Sell that off, and... Especially with the king-size bed, we should make a, a nice little chunk of change off that. Uh, do... Check out short barrel, we'll just sell off the cheaper stuff first, just to... Make sure I get plenty of profit off this, see so, you know, it... Because it increases prices slowly. I actually did swap out these old wheels for a higher, better quality set, so... Turbob's not interested in that, but... The big kahuna. So just from selling that stock, we've made 3,170 dukes. Uh, I realize now, like, you know... Because, like, I did see in the, uh... Older episodes, you know, like, one of the previous episodes, like... When he was asking if I considered, you know, making king size beds, and it's like, now I see you know, where you're coming from on that, so thank you to whoever that whoever pointed that out for me. Let's actually loot his compound here. Uh, so, uh, we'll just uh, get rid of those cowboy boots. I figured I have completely forget to raid his uh, compound to, to look at stuff. How am I doing on secret stash? I need barter 40, so... Unfortunately, don't have that. I also do kind of want to keep out for keep an eye out for uh, some mechanical parts. Uh, preferably to wrench. Not uh, just in the, in the world. Don't think there's anything in there. There's not generally too much in Bob's compound. It's like, I can't take the stuff because, uh, other than, like, some chairs. So, I wish I could, uh, you know, wrench some of the stuff, like, you know, the beds for for the springs and all that. It would really help because that's really the big thing, uh, limiting me on, uh, on making those king-size beds. It's the, uh, it's springs, and it's like, I can't make any with steelsmithing. Till I get steelsmithing like level three, so I have to search all that and uh Oh hey. Better wrench actually. I did not realize that respawned. <laughs> so hey, got an upgrade on the wrench, so eh, not much in there. This one respawned too. Weird. It's like I left something in there, but uh, it gave me gave me more. I am a little surprised by that. Desk, flashlight I can repair for uh, some dukes, you know. I'll just save that for the next trader trip. Got that, and never point in science and a little leather working, so very nice stuff. And then just check up top here for just to make absolutely sure I got the loot out of this place. It's like, I don't think there's anything on that roof, so... Yeah, I'll meet you guys at the at the next trader, which will be either the other Bob or the other... Or Trader Joel, I think it is. So I'll see you there. I just stopped to uh, take a look at uh, some stuff here in the uh, winter biome because I found this. Uh, let's see. I don't really need more coffee beans, but found more flashlights, so. Hello, Penny. How are we doing? Right. Good to see you. But airdrop came in, so. Um, not much I want to scrap. One rotten flesh I'll... I'll get rid of that, so... That means, like, yo... You know, I really feel like I can just start, uh... Raiding, uh, the tree stumps here in the winter biome, if you know how I am with, uh... With the tree stumps in this, uh... It, it's like, you can get some good loot out of them, so... Let's see... Shades... They sell for 51 bucks, but I'm not gonna bother with the inventory space. I got the shopping basket on my mini bike, which one of you did uh, point out and like you're you're like, how come you didn't you know, wrench a shopping basket, yo? There's one right in front of you, you get a wrench. It's like 
my uh, wrench was run low on durability, and I was I had the failsafe of the uh, Shamway. I could have just raid that for uh, for stuff. Jar of honey. We'll just kind of eat that. I know I could just uh, save it for infection, but it, not worried. Take on these couple uh, lumberjacks, yo. Know. They might have a puffer jacket, and I would love to have a couple to sell. Ow. Come on, big guy. Take it easy. Uh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Bleeding out now. Last thing I want to do is uh, be taken out by a lumberjack. Hang on, let's. I just need to run away real quick too. And get away from them. Um, do, do do I have any? I have a couple crossbow bolts. Oh boy, a whole whole pack of them. Whole, <laughs> I decided to step into the you know, winter biome, and uh, the whole crowd decides to come in. I'm not giving them the nine millimeter though. I want to be careful because I'm run low on health, so. The 9 mil I'm reserving for dogs, so. Let me just cut through these guys real quick and I'll uh, tune in with you once I'm back at the airdrop. And airdrop time, let's see what we got. A sniper rifle schematic, uh, 762. Um, first aid kit, I'll actually take that. A beaker that I can sell, I'll just drop that oil. Uh, we'll actually just throw some of the loot in here, I got more antibiotics. One of the lumberjacks actually dropped a steel shovel, which, uh, which sells for 300, so. There we go, got the the sniper rifle, and where are we at? Uh, looks like we got another town over here, which is, you know, which is pretty cool. We're pretty west of the... It's not a hub city, so... Hey, a little bit of a nice uh, addition, but I was wanting to make a trip over to the traders. So, anyways, let me get let me get over. Uh... Oh, hey, passing gas, very nice. Our well bunker, uh, n not a well bunker, but one of the regular bunkers. So, let's actually just let's see if uh, I can find anything interesting sitting around. Like, there's am I gone funeral. Home, uh, interesting stuff. I'm just doing a quick little drive by. I just want to have a look. Oh, a deer. I'll at least take him for the uh, leather. Two deer. Come here. Hunting stags with mini bikes. I know I have a quest that requires me to actually take him down, but eh, no biggie. Let me actually make some space for this. I'm not selling that sniper rifle. Come here, give me all your animal hide, buddy. Taking the bones too, so... Get away from the yetis for a little bit. But anyways, uh, that little brief look of the town, uh, which is exciting. Because I was thinking my only option was like the hub city, but... I'm going to, uh... Uh, I'm going to, once again, try to get to the trainers. See you there. <laughs> Here we are at Trader Joel's now. Uh, didn't take me too long. Sorry to get a little cold, but not too worried. Trader Joel, how are we doing, bud? Good to see you. Yeah, guys, let me just uh, sell some stuff here to Trader Joel, and I'll be back in a second. Alright. <laughs> Go back room selling and stuff. Uh, up to 4871 on the Dukes now. 
So have one more trigger to go. Unfortunately, he. Okay, hunting knife book is very tempting. Just to have something to not have to rely on the machete all the time uh, for decent damage. But unfortunately, he does not have the. He does not have a. Um... Try to think here. Let me actually sell you this. Another fifty-seven bucks, but. He does not have the gas can schematic, but I'll buy the I'll buy that hunting knife schematic. So I figured might as well can get some. Uh... Yo, I don't know when I'll find that again. So I figured unlock the hunting knife. Charlie looks like he's having fun on the uh, the barbed wire outside Trader Joel's, which is yeah, which is understandable. It's pretty fun. Yeah, just let me let me drive over to uh, uh, the air trader Bob, and we'll see. And fingers crossed, hopefully he has the gas station, the gas can schematic. So just give me a second, guys. Pulling up on Trader Bob's now. Let's see what let's see what you got, buddy. Please tell me you have something. Uh, you have a gas can recipe because I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. Check his uh, inventory. He doesn't have any schematics in here, but what do you at least got in your iron gloves, leather gloves, more hop seed? I think I'm getting to the point now where I can make uh, plenty of hop seeds and uh, you know get the uh, get them growing. Um. Not much in here, it's like a little bit disappointing, but not really surprised. Sell off the... I can't sell you the the mini bike, uh, the extra set of mini bike wheels. But, oh well, no biggie. Well, thank you, Trader Bob. See, even after the, the hunting knife schematic, uh, I'm up to... Uh, um, sorry, I <laughs> have a loss for words for a second. Uh, I'm up to uh, over 5,300 dukes, uh, and uh, going by the porch house to stay in for a night before then you go going. I stay in that on night six, so I see that again. Ooh, nitrate. I need nitrate. But I'm just gonna make my way back over to home and, uh, We'll end off the episode over there, and tally up the total. I just got back home here, and I'll let you look at it. Hops are ready to be harvested up, so that is wonderful news to see. I'm very happy to see this, and also the coffee beans are ready. So, just give me a second here while I... I'll just get this stuff harvested up. I want to make sure I get... Just don't forget to harvest all this uh, while I'm still thinking about it. Oh, hello, Nancy. How we doing? Good to see you, sweetie. But anyways, so let's see how many dukes it got. Made 50... Basically 5,400. We're at... We are basically at... 22,000 dukes, but... Uh, exact amount is uh, 21,999 uh, dukes, so nighttime's gonna be coming here pretty soon, so I gotta do my thing, and I should uh, get some stuff upgrade here uh, overnight just to keep myself busy. Uh, so, if you made it this far, I thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode.